Luftwaffe's reply to the Stormovik, the Henschel 129, a specialist in ground strafe. Heavily armed with cannon and often carrying anti-personnel bombs, she's an adept at tank busting. But she's not very fast and relies on fighter escort. She's had quite a lot of experience in Russia, but not always the kind she lives to talk about. She's low wing and has twin underslung engines breaking the trailing edge. Now here's something really different. A fish-like snout. Rather like a pike if you're fishing for something. Engines jutting well out in line with the nose and breaking the trailing edge too. But she's got quite a slender wing. Tips blunted. That ought to help. Wide tailplane, tall fin and rudder set slightly forward. Let's put out a few lines and see what we get. Yes, the Henschel nose is pike-like. Straight lines to tapered fuselage. Pilot's cockpit set well forward. And see how it's shaped into the nose. Those underslung engines are in line with the nose and see how the wheels break the underside of the nacelles. The tall fin and rudder has equal taper and rounded top. Notice how it's set just forward of the tip of the fuselage. That's the Henschel 129. Head on in the distance quite difficult. But close in, here's something really unusual. Watch this dihedral, sharp from fuselage to engines, less further out. Flat bottom to fuselage. Sides taper sharply to a narrow top. Tailplane out of sight if she's absolutely dead on. Even in the distance, you'll recognize the 129 by those unusual features. Flat underside to fuselage. Engines project beyond the trailing edge. Now we've got a tight hold on the Henschel 129. There's certainly plenty of fight in that pike-like snout. The Bosch often decorate their planes in this way. Engines are in line with nose and project just beyond the trailing edge. Wings set well forward on the fuselage and their plan shows straight taper and rather blunted tips. All clinching it as the Henschel 129. The fuselage is rather slim and flat bottomed, tapering to the wide tailplane. You can see that the tall fin and rudder is set slightly forward. Makes a nice catch now. Better still from above, pike jaw to tall fin. She's every inch a Henschel 129. Well, now you've got her weighed up, let's study her in flight. Position of cockpit, lines of the fuselage, and the position of the high fin and rudder. There's something else that sticks out quite a bit. The wireless mast. Pike-like snout, 129. As she flies overhead, 
Yet one more point to help you make certain of the 129. The slender wings are set very far forward on the fuselage. This is very obvious even further off. You remember the position of the engines and the shape of the wide tail plane? So if you see a twin-engine monoplane with unusual dihedral, wings set well forward, high fin and rudder, and a pike-like snout, you've hooked a Bosch, a ground strafing Henschel 129. Thank you.